I think it's a great opportunity for everybody to uh, participate in a sport that is Canada sport. We have all kinds of people from different backgrounds and so when we get together, we put all that aside and we just have fun. It's just one day of the week that people can come and have some fun. Probably up until I was 17, 18, I played hockey. I used to be a goalie, so for me, hockey was always a part of my life. I lost my vision uh, when I was 20. So, you know, hockey wasn't, I didn't know how to play hockey after that. Got to the point where um, it was getting dangerous because it was hard for me to track the small puck count. So I decided to give it up and I was probably not playing for uh, probably about four or five years. I found the ice owls and uh, put me on a new journey of life, kind of realizing I could still play the game that I love, even though I was uh, being faced with this life-altering condition. We're a blind hockey team. <laughs> You know, you get people that you play hockey, that's your vision impaired, you can't do that. I always say, well, I can do whatever I want. And so you, you don't let things stop you. When I joined the Ice Owls, and 20 years later, it was great, it was a great opportunity to uh, participate in hockey again. And it was also uh, great to see a lot of other people in my situation with, you know, they had some form of blindness and they all had one thing in common, the love of playing hockey. It means a lot because it gives me a place to come play hockey where I don't have the ability to play regular hockey anymore with the regular size puck. You use a different puck. It's four times bigger than a regular puck, and it makes noise, so you can track the puck along the ice. So there's different rules that help us as vision impaired hockey players, but for the most part, all the rules are pretty much the same. They're very kind, generous, and uh, honest people which I like. They would never get the opportunity to play hockey in, in a regular hockey league just because of their, their vision, uh, either disabilities or lack of. When they're out here, they're a very tight-knit group. You get a lot of skaters that are, uh, are very competitive. Some people are out here for a good time. Me, I'm just trying to keep up with them because they're fast. Spirit. That's all we want. We want a team spirit. We want everybody to have fun, come in and have fun. This is not a competitive sport. This is right now, it's, it's fun and we enjoy playing it. Some people maybe they don't get a chance to socialize. Like there's some people that maybe this is their only outlet. Go oh, yeah, skate, skate, skate! It's, it's something to look forward to every week to go out and even get exercise. And that's what I like about the ice owls. play our game we all love and it feels just as much Canadian as anyone else. Always live your dream and don't let anything get in your way. Whether you can see or you can't see, you can't walk, you can't talk. If you have a passion for something, just go for it and don't stop until you achieve it. If you have a vision limitation or disability, it's not the end of the world. You find out what you can and can't do, but blind hockey is uh, something that we can do. Go 